Hi guys, it's Pixels Tech here. This is going to be the first instalment of my new episode series of Widgy Widget Basics. And we're going to go from everything at the lowest level of knowledge, which will be downloading and navigating through the menu. And then we'll go on to the more advanced work, like searching for APIs and adding things like that to your widget automations and so on. So to start with, I'm going to show you how to install Widgy. It's just like any other app on the App Store. You just click on the App Store and you're going to search for Widgy. You can see that I've already got it installed. So you would be able to download it there. So once you've downloaded Widgy, here is your home screen. It would most likely on yours look completely blank. You usually get these examples at the bottom. So I'm just going to scroll down. And these are usually built in as examples so you can see. And the best place for us to go next is the settings because that's where all our permissions are. So we're going to go over to settings. And we're actually going to start here in Widgy settings. So if we go down to Widgy settings. And we're going to start by putting our name. So we're going to go set name and I'm going to write pixels and update. And if you want to use your name and stuff, it's automatically in there. Location for weather. This will use your location services. So yeah, it should be just automatic or you can select your location. Widget language. The developers have done a great job of getting different languages. So select the right language for your location. The next is date language, so this will be the format that you use in your country, so make sure you select the right one. So moving on is your agenda sources. So this is where you'll select or deselect the agendas or calendars you don't or do want to see. So make sure that you don't clog up your calendar and widgets. The next is your measurement units. So you can choose between basically metric or imperial, depending on your location or your preference. And then we've got our temperature unit. It will just be Celsius and Fahrenheit. The wind speed, I always go miles per hour, kilometers per hour. It doesn't make sense to me. So uh, knots, I wouldn't even know where to start with. Um, first day of the week, mine is always Monday, but you might choose Saturday or Sunday or Friday. Some people, it depends how businesses work and so on. Um, currency for exchange rate, again, mine's um, British pounds, but whatever your local currency is, you can choose that and search for it. And if you're into your cryptocurrency, you can also choose that currency for that. It's actually better for me to have US dollars set because uh, it's always referenced in USD for us. And then we've got our permissions. So this is where you need to make sure everything's ticked if you want to utilize this, um, the assets within, within Widgy. So just go through pressing the tick and usually you get a pop up asking you for permission to use that service. And then you've got hide screen on tap actions. That basically makes the screen black so you don't have to see the Widgie app when you press your tap actions on your widgets. Now back to our settings, you've got the app icon. You can change your app icon in here. There's a nice variety of them. I actually like really like the um, Xcode one. So I'm gonna change it to that. It's very simple. The app language is your local language. I mean, you might want to try on Chinese if you really want to, but I'd advise you stick to your um, own language. Reset onboarding, that will give you your tutorials back. So you press that, and then when you go into the Widgie Creator, it will run through the tutorials. And if you're an influencer, get in touch because they will give you a free premium service um, if you promote, so that's great. And then all the acknowledgements, that's a well-deserved part of the back for all the developers that do such a great job of Widgie, uh, references the APIs, and um, yeah, just a good source for the people that are in charge of developing this app. And then you've got backups. I don't tend to use this because I use import and export. That's only because I didn't realize the feature was available. And then you've got clear cache, which is a great option just to have, just to reset your widgets and make sure everything's cleared. And then you've got your premium purchases, which I can only advise you to purchase. Yeah, they're fantastic. They just make your Widgie experience much better. So yeah, if you're interested, feel free to purchase the upgrades. You can leave a tip or buy the merchandise. The help tab is a really useful resource. If you need quick um, answer to a question, you can do that for home, lock or watchy. Um, but you can also use Reddit, the community around us and the developers are fantastic with help. So you've always got support if needed. Next is the manage tab. Um, you do need widgets set up to use this feature. So what I'll do is we'll get into that next. Um, I'm going to ignore explore for now and I'm going to skip over to create. 
and I'm going to do a full video on importing and exporting so we're going to skip that for now create that is as simple as pressing create and again I'm going to utilize that in another episode we're going to start by building our first widget very very soon and get widget for Mac OS is just a notification to say that you can get widget on your Mac also and help with translations is just a useful tab for any translation issues you require help with. Scrolling down, you can navigate your widgets when you've got a nice library like I have. Uh, you'll be able to just see through all of your widgets and to edit them, it would just be a simple click. Um, An edit is obviously edit the one that you're using. Edit as copy will be will make an exact copy of what you've got in front of you, but then it gives you that. Um, option to make the alternative version of that and then share of course you can again I will go into more detail on this um, in the future but this is where you can share your widget to others and delete up here on the right so staying on create this is where our widgets are we can edit any of our widgets create new ones whether it's lock screen or watchy or we can go um, to our normal home screen widgets and it's just our main menu to get to your library you can also see a range of getting you started icons and widgets. Um, so maybe we can go through some of these together. We'll do uh, episodes on Watchy, Lock Screen, Home Screen, you name it. We will cover everything in this series. And obviously up here you can use the search. So if you wanted to search for the name of your widgets, I'm going to just type in API here because I know I've got one called API. And then we're going to go on to explore and this is where you can find all of the um, uploaded widgets by other users there's a massive range of them on here and on reddit so you if you've got an idea someone might have already created it it's worth looking um, so from the explore tab you can quite simply um, upload into your own library by simply clicking on it and import so now if you went back to create and you'll see that widget there in your library. Now, what I like to do is whenever I'm creating a new widget from an import, I always try and edit as copy because what you'll see that does is it goes from the um, imported list and into the yours list. So if you see there, you've got that, um, it separates the imported and the ones that you downloaded from the internet from the ones that you're editing. So that's quite a good feature there. And I advise if you're going to do some editing to just do that. And then finally on the explore tab, after we've gone through the wide range on Widgie, we're going to go over to the Reddit tab um, where I think this is a really good feature. If you were to just scroll down Reddit, you can go onto Reddit and do this yourself, but this is a good place where it um, allows you to look through some of the fantastic widgets um, other developers have created. Uh, so let's just say we want to, we like this one. We want to import that. You can click um, on the Safari and it will take you to the exact Reddit page. Um, and then usually you will find the QR code. And what we're going to do is we're going to go on that QR code and we're going to take a screenshot. Most of the time it um, is either linked in the description or there is a photo in the chat and some you do have to pay for so just bear that in mind but if you've got a QR code um, there's some way of getting that in your widget library so there will be a whole video dedicated to import and export but I'm just going to quickly show you how to import so we're going to go to create and then go over to import and we're going to do this one from a QR code from photos so we're going to select that and we're going to press add and that's in our library. So we're going to edit this one as a copy. And what we will do a full video on transparent backgrounds as well. So I'm going to skip this for now. But as you can see, the widget is now in our library. We can carry out any edits we want to on the right hand side. Again, I'm going to do so many different widget videos. It's going to be, we're going to do, we'll make sure we cover everything um, between now and the end of the series. So we're going to go back to our home screen and all we've got left to go through is the manage tab and creating our widget. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our home screen. We're going to hold down and go into jiggle mode and we're going to go to the top left and press the add. You can see it's just there, but I'm going to go down to widget and we're going to press widget and go through to the size we want. So I'm going to pick the medium one for an example. 
click on the widget and whilst we're in our manage tab i'm just going to go through um the menu so we've got reload all widgets which is a good feature to use if you get any um widgets that have crashed you've got transparent background which we'll go through again in a video you've got manage stash which will be your um, locally stored media and then you've got your settings again so finally let's go and add our widget to our home screen so we're going to go down to the slot that we chose and we're going to press select on that widget and that's going to take us to our manage we're going to select the widget we want i created this the other day on one of our my other videos so we're going to use this one and we're going to go back to our home screen so there we have our newly placed widget um, that's everything for the first tutorial i hope this helped you quite a lot and it got you the basic information on how to use the widget menu like i said this series will go through so many different tutorials and we'll try and cover everything on the app and you should also look at my series shortcuts tutorials because um, they both work hand in hand but if you enjoyed this video please like subscribe ring my bell feed my ego and i'll see you on the next one